Uh, it's my uh, sincere pleasure to introduce a dear colleague, Dr. Kimberly Nance, who will serve as the panel moderator for the University Leaders Session. Dr. Nance is the Director of Graduate Studies at Illinois State University in Normal and a Professor of Languages, Literatures, and Cultures. Please welcome Dr. Nance. Thank you. And in turn, it's my pleasure to introduce the members of our University Leadership Panel for this afternoon. Please welcome Dr. Rita Cheng, Chancellor, Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. Dr. Martina Munsters, Deputy Dean of Students at the University of Chicago. Dr. William Perry, President of Illinois, Eastern Illinois University in Charleston and the host to the IAG Summit this afternoon. Dr. Stephanie Schlachter, Provost of Lewis University in Romeoville and Dr. Richard Wheeler, Interim Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and former Dean of Graduate Studies at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. If you read your program, you'll know that Dr. Simon Greenwald, Vice Provost for Research and Dean of the Graduate School at Northwestern University in Evanston, was slated for this panel. He won't be able to participate, but he did send some written remarks, which the extremely industrious staff has placed in your packet. So Bob has asked me to, to add some remarks from Illinois State in normal. So after Dr. Chang's remarks, I'll add a few brief observations of my own. This afternoon, our panel of leaders will contribute to our discussion related to the recommendations articulated in the path forward. This document, you have parts of it reproduced and particularly on the recommendations directed to universities to increase completion rates for graduate candidates, to emphasize the rigor in master's programs, to enhance efforts to attract minority candidates, and to ensure that a larger population of undergraduates is prepared for graduate study. Our goal here is to begin discussions that will continue on our campuses and in our state regarding best practices for navigating that path forward. So each leader here today will suggest approaches that leaders of graduate education on their campuses should consider in order to achieve those goals. And after opening comments, we'll begin taking questions. We'll begin with Dr. Cheng. Good afternoon. I very much enjoyed the quality of the um, panel sessions uh, this morning and also uh, having an opportunity to meet colleagues uh, uh, from the state of Illinois and beyond. Uh, Southern Illinois University uh, is a uh, doctoral institution that uh, has a, a, a great history of access and opportunity uh, for um, people of all walks of life to achieve uh, in life. And um, our 11 degree uh, granting schools and colleges uh, uh, offer opportunities to 20,350 students uh, in, the, in the Carbondale area. Um, we have 74 master's uh, uh, degrees, 32 doctoral degrees, and of our 20,000 students, uh, roughly 5,000 are graduate students. Um, when I think about uh, the uh, issues around graduate education, I think about pipeline and preparation. Uh, certainly graduate recruitment and uh, the messaging that we need to send about opportunity uh, once we have students ensuring their success and um, all, uh, of all of the um, uh, things that I dwell on are the leadership uh, issues and particularly around changing the conversation around public education in the U.S. and graduate education uh, is uh, certainly a big component of that. Uh, a big public discussion certainly is uh, on the pipeline, and the pipeline starts in, in preschool. <laughs> uh, so uh, we have a big challenge to uh, uh, encourage uh, all people in the you know, U.S. to seek education levels uh, of attainment that uh, uh, are greater than what they're uh, achieving now. And much of <coughs> my um, professional administrative career path has been on uh, focusing on how do we uh, provide that access uh, to uh, 
higher education and access in the terms of preparation uh, for college as well as the financial piece of that. And whether it's a pre-college program, teacher training program, bridge programs, or once students arrive on our campus, uh, first and second year success programs, we are uh, in many ways um, making sure that we are bringing students uh, to uh, the point where they can consider uh, graduate education. And then when we have the advising on campus that uh, um, uh, connects with careers, and I, I, I highly um, admire our advising and our career placement, uh, we need to have the conversation that uh, graduate school is part of that uh, deliberate choice uh, at the junior, senior level. And of course, financial um, issues are, are huge. One of the things that we're uh, focused on on the campus is uh, through our Center for Graduate Teaching uh, Excellence, is using uh, the uh, teaching assistance and the computer-assisted instruction to enhance student success in core algebra courses. Again, the success rate of students in uh, the uh, freshman classes in, in math uh, is a national uh, issue, and uh, if we uh, aspire to have more graduate students, we need to uh, get uh, people off that hurdle. I loved the uh, slide this morning that showed all of the different leakage uh, in the pipeline, and certainly uh, math uh, is a, a, big, uh, uh, a big hole to fill. We have a similar pilot program in chemistry. It has increased student success by 12 to 15 percent. And I might mention that our math success is at the rate of 30 uh, percent. So there is a, a huge uh, opportunity for all of us to uh, at, at least uh, um, shrink the leakage uh, and maybe stop it altogether. Um, we also uh, have. Uh, focused on undergraduate research experiences and opportunities as a pipeline to graduate uh, uh, school. The Saluki Research Rookies Program, established two years ago, is aimed at high-achieving freshmen uh, interested in conducting research and learning more about their intended major. We also have a program called REACH, uh, Research Enriched Academic Challenge, and it offers competitive one-year undergraduate research and creative activity awards to support original research at the undergraduate level. Of course, that um, like many of your organizations, we belong to the statewide coalition, the, the Lewis Stokes Alliance Minority Preparation Program. I was a part of that program in Wisconsin as well, and I've seen some good results in increasing the number of underrepresented minority students in the STEM fields and certainly uh, looking at ways that, to encourage uh, graduate education uh, at the undergraduate level. And our undergraduate assistantships across the campus provide um, paraprofessional employment for full-time undergraduates in various academic disciplines and I think have made a big difference uh, for our students. Graduate recruitment is also something that um, um, I think we can focus on, whether it's domestic, international, um, in-state, out-of-state, or underrepresented student uh, bodies. The messaging, the support, the encouragement, and the quality uh, of our conversations, I think, are really important. And we can look uh, to ways that we are, are attempting to reach uh, um, students and making sure that we have the opportunity uh, for more conversation about why it's worth the extra time in, in, in the classroom and in the lab uh, and what kind of career choices people will have as a result of more education. I also believe in this tight um, economic time, the quality and the size of our faculty is so critical to graduate education and the future of graduate education. And as universities are looking for ways to uh, address uh, tough budget times, we can't ignore the fact that we, we need to replenish our faculty. We need to be really conscious of not eroding the quality of the faculty because, again, graduate education is so dependent on that faculty uh, quality and uh, commitment.